Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. So this is going to be my first entry into the Reconnaissance and Scout group build that um, Marcus and Joachim are running. Um, I wanted to do something uh, different initially for this particular group build. Usually I do World War II uh, subjects, but um, I'm really enjoying or want to get more into painting uh, Games Workshop stuff 40k. Um, and uh, Age of Sigmar or even um, Old World. So as you can see this is uh, Games Workshop's uh, Warhammer 40k uh, Astra Militarum Sentinel. Now the one that's pictured on the front is actually an armoured um, Sentinel but if I swap uh, switch the box around you'll see that we can do a scout version. So there at the bottom right you can see that it says uh, Scout Sentinel and that's the one obviously I'll be doing for this uh, group build. Let me um, open the box so I can show you the uh, the parts. So these uh, figures are around about 28mm, um, 25mm. Millimeter, millimeter. Um, normal wargaming size really. Um, although obviously you can have 15mm um, <laughs> war games. I meant for 40k type stuff. So here we have the um, the body of the vehicle uh, with the I think the legs and everything. This is actually the sprue for the body. We've got the uh, pilot sat in there. Nicely detailed. Here we have the weapons that you can put on it. Um, it looks like there's a rocket launcher of some sort, there's a heavy flamer, um, las gun, or las cannon I should say, um, heavy plasma, that's that there. Then we've got um, like a chainsaw, it looks like we can put a rocket on it, missile sorry. Um, and we've got some oil cans and so on. Comes with its own base. Here we have a very nice decal sheet, um, so you can obviously indicate which uh, army um, this is from. Uh, I think the one depicted is uh, Cadian, um, but you can do quite a few other, others it would appear. Instruction sheet. <clears throat> So there's the two variants you can make, the one on the left is the scout one, the other one is the armoured sentinel as I say. What's interesting is um, although uh, the armoured sentinel has got an enclosed um, cockpit, both um, both walkers are <laughs> carrying the same weapon load. I would have thought the reconnaissance one would have had a lighter weapon weapons load. So we start um, building the legs you can uh, pose it at one leg in front of the other or the other way around putting the leg and the pivot point for the body on the base and then adding odds and sods to it as you go to finish at this point looking like that then we've got the cockpit <clears throat> and adding the upper torso of the pilot And then they show you, sorry, they show you how to do the scout variant. So putting your weapon load on your scout. So when you get to this point, you put your um, jerry cans on and so on. And then if you want to turn it into the armoured variant you put the armoured plate in around the um, roll cage of the, the scout variant and finally put a roof on it to make it the armoured var armored variant so there you go guys as I say this is my first entry uh, for this GB I hope to do quite a few um, I don't know how to this will be finished. I don't know whether to just finish it as a, as it would be as part of an army uh, if I was to do an Astra Militarum army um, or whether to just do it as a standalone um, 
diorama with uh, this on a slightly bigger base and perhaps a couple of figures, I don't know. We shall see as I go along. So thanks ever so much for watching this uh, entry video. I will post um, updates as I progress. Uh, I hope everybody else who's joining in on this has a load of fun. Um, thanks ever so much for watching. Look after yourselves and I'll catch up with you soon.